Greetings and happy Monday, beautiful ones. Happy Monday, happy. That's my Monday dance, right? But I am winding the, the day down here in Atlanta. And I really wanted to come in and share this tidbit with you. I have one more client. And this was so important that I felt like I just, I wanted to give it to you before I'm even finished the day. Um, and it's about why your habits don't stick, why your good habits don't stick, why it's so hard to break the bad habit, why do you have to keep making the same New Year's resolutions over and over and over again. I'm going to give you a tip, a trick to that you can take with you and hopefully it helps make a difference, right? Um, this is a part of a course that I am going to be launching called the Breakthrough Experience. But listen, I know everyone can't really take that course and I want to give you tidbits of information. So the key to making your resolutions, your desires, your intentions stick and become habits that you desire, this is the key. You got a pen? Right. This I'm this is I'm telling you this is the gym. I'm dropping a Monday gym. The gym is automaticity. That is what you have to reach. Automaticity. What is automaticity? Automaticity is the thoughts and behaviors that don't require conscious guidance and monitor monitoring in order for it to occur right? It does not require the brain to be involved in the details. Now, there is a such thing as unconscious automaticity, but we're talking about conscious automaticity. Conscious automaticity are those things that require a willful act and skill acquisition. So that is like driving, right? Like you had to learn the skills of driving. But once you learn the skills of driving, you can do it without thinking about it. It, right you just do it without thinking about it. as a matter of fact you can do it so well that you can be focused on something else and still drive effectively still even monitor your your process through wherever it is you're driving and I think I gave the example in one of my other videos where you can drive home from work sometimes and just not even be connected to the ride home but you got off all the exits and why because of automaticity automaticity requires repetition practice commitment repetition practice commitment repetition practice and commitment what does it require repetition practice and commitment so this is the thing. If you want to change a, a, a change an act or you want to acquire a really good habit, the first thing I would say to you is if you can't commit at least to 90 days of doing that thing, then don't even bother. Don't even bother because those things that we really want to change really require time. Now, I said in a previous video, it takes... 18 days to 254 days depending on the on the thing that you're wanting to change the habit that you're trying to create it takes 18 to 18 days to 254 days to make a habit however the sweet spot is 66 days so i say bump it up for success to 90 days uh, most habits can change somewhere around 66 days this is what the research says. So if you are going to commit something, give yourself 90 days to commit to it with repetition, practice, and commitment. Like, I don't mean just a commitment all kind of, right? A negotiated commitment. I'm talking about 100% resolved to do that thing. 100% resolved to do that thing. That means failure is not an option. So let's just put it in practical terms because I know that a lot of people are like, you're giving me too much information, Imani. You're talking about unconscious automaticity, conscious. What are we talking about? Let's talk about it in a practical way. 
you were wanting wanting to go to the gym. You want to start waking up in the morning and going to the gym at 6.30. Okay, so the first thing is before you even get started, make a 90-day to a 100-day commitment to get up every single solitary day, 90 days, and go to the gym or go work out, right, at 6.30. Then you're gonna set yourself up for the success, but prepare for the failure. What does that mean? That means put your clothes out at night. Don't wait to wake up and have to think about it. Put your put the clothes out, set up yourself for the success, but prepare for the failure. What does that mean? That means the day that you wake up and don't feel like going, don't think about it. Put some things in place to help you push past that place of resistance because your brain will always resist. That's what it does. It's designed to resist, to come up with protections when it's in a place that's uncomfortable or unfamiliar. And when you're pushing yourself past resistance, you have to expect that. So you're going to do it for every day, for 90 days to 100 days and reach automaticity. And I promise you, if you do this and you do this and you do this, you will get to a point where you pop up and it's automatic, Auto. Automaticity. I hope you wrote it down. I hope you practice it. I hope you stay connected with me so that I can drop more gems in your lap. Until the next time, I wish you peace. I wish you love.